What's up, y'all? Hey, I got my hat standing on my head looking real crazy right now, but it's all gravy in the navy, you dig? Let's see, let's get back in some of this light so y'all can see the boy a little better. Anyway, welcome to day 79 of Diabetes and I, the daily vlog that I do to, you know, inspire and give hope and all that good stuff, you feel me? Anyway, it's your boy once again, Slim Jim Longfoot, aka the GOAT King of America. Welcome to day 79 of Diabetes and I. The daily vlog that I do uncut, unedited, uncensored, giving you that raw, giving you that real, you feel me? Anywho, you know, it's uh, what time is it right now? Uh, the current time is 11.08 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the good old U.S. of A. You know what I'm saying? The Corona States of America, however you want to call it. Anyway. But, uh, you know, we're up here chilling right now. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to make it through another day. It is a Thursday. Uh, so, throwback. Happy throwback Thursday to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I just got through strolling down memory lane. Looking at some old pics and whatnot. You know, just reminiscing. You know what I'm saying? Shout outs. You know, blessings and much love to those who came before us who are no longer here. Those. Okay. That was crazy. All right. So, the first part of the video um, is crazy because... Every time I do these uh, vlogs, I always upload it straight to YouTube. And so I ended up getting cut off then. YouTube peed me off for some reason, or I peed YouTube off for some reason. And, you know, it got cut. Or either that was just my iPad acting stupid. One or two. Anyways, um, so getting back to my train of thought, I had uh, I took I took that first minute and put it on to this because I didn't want to start over with my whole introduction. And so this is really going to be the first i guess edited version of diabetes and i because i took you know the first minute and placed it uh over here with this so i had to put it together i'm glad i didn't lose it i thought i lost it otherwise i would have been starting all the way over but you know um as i was saying at the end that um it's crazy because i was just uh saying in the beginning that this is unedited unraw and everything like that which is still raw but i just had to take that part and you know put it on to the rest of this so you know had to put it together see see how y'all try to do me anyway i'm putting my raisins in my oatmeal and as always i'm gonna keep this you know saying uh no edits or whatnot the only blip was you know that right there as far as that go but um anyway i'm already chewing on raisins i gotta do my blood sugar um check my blood sugar level right now that threw me off for a minute because you know i spent about two minutes getting you know being real pissed and then trying to see if i still had that minute that i had just recorded and i still did so i said well instead of just starting over because i like you know what i was saying at that point I go ahead and put it on to the rest of, you know, this right here. Anyway, I'm about to make this short, sweet, simple, and to the point. Because, you know, that kind of threw me off. But my day's still going to be great. And I hope that your day is still great, too. You feel me? We ain't about to let nothing, you know, deter us from the greatness of this day right here. You know what I'm saying? If you still breathing, if you still living, today is a great day. You better know that. All day, every day. So... Uh, as soon as I check my blood sugar count, I'll tell y'all my readings from yesterday. And you know what I'm saying? We go from there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one of these days, y'all probably going to start off a drinking game of how many times I say you know what I'm saying. I know I, I know that's coming. As a matter of fact, I won't be surprised if it started now. I might just start it myself. If you go back through all my videos and just, uh, you know, take a shot every time I say you know what I'm saying. Boy, y'all will be, boy, y'all will be jacked up. I, I know this. Y'all will be jacked up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway. But, uh, okay. So, I'm about to get that reading. While I'm waiting on that reading, let's go through the other readings before I get distracted by the current breakfast reading. Yesterday's numbers read as such. Um, before breakfast was 101. Before lunch was 117. And before dinner was 78. What I had for breakfast yesterday, of course, I had my oatmeal, cinnamon, and raisins. 
Uh, for lunch yesterday, I had um, I had jumbo shrimp, uh, spinach, and cucumbers. That's what I had for lunch yesterday. Uh, let me let me check uh, the exact thing that I had for lunch. I can tell y'all exactly what I had for lunch. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, I see somebody. I uh, just uh, somebody left a uh, comment on my YouTube. And see, this thing people gotta stop saying. Hey, I just subscribe to you. Will you subscribe to me? Like it doesn't work like that. You can't do it like that, guys. I got videos on my channel telling you what to say, telling you what to do. You know, basically I'm giving you better ways to go about things. You feel me? And people still, you know, do craziness. First of all, I did say day seventy nine, didn't I? Just in case I didn't, you know, day seventy nine, diabetes and I. Quite sure I did in the beginning. I have to look at it again. Anyway, but um, what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to see what I look at. Look at what I ate yesterday, because I'm starting not to remember stuff. Because you know everything is like blurring together. You know. Um, okay, so oatmeal with cinnamon and raisins. That was for breakfast. Lunch was jumbo shrimp with spinach uh, with bacon bits and uh, liquid aminos on it, and uh, cucumbers. And dinner last night, dinner last night was um, sh jumbo shrimp, spinach with liquid aminos, no bacon bits, cucumbers, and six honey barbecue wings from KFC. Now, I ordered 12 uh, from KFC. I ate all, I eventually ate all 12, um, the four now. You know, I, I, I ate my other six, um, along with some cucumbers uh, later on that night. So, I finished off my 12, but my initial dinner was jumbo shrimp, spinach with liquid aminos. Oh, I missed my time over there. I had to I had to turn it back on in a second. I waited too long. And this oatmeal is just it's just too daggone thick. I put some more water in it. But um yeah, I got some um honey barbecue wings from KFC um yesterday also. And I got them from my old spot, the spot that I used to go to as a kid. And I'm gonna just basically say it like this. The customer service there was horrible so never again plus the wings weren't even that good they um the wings that i had the other day they were not as good as the last time i had the wings from that spot but they were better but those wings that i had before yesterday were better than the ones i had yesterday at the spot that i used to go to as a kid you know and a kid up to you know early adulthood and yeah and the folk up in there, and they they were rude, super rude. So I don't recommend going to that one on Wesco Chapel at all. So, I mean, all you gotta do is look at the uh, reviews too on um, on Google too, on Google Maps. Anywho, sorry, gotta say my grace. did that let's see what we got okay for 11 19 a.m i'm at 102 which is to be expected because i did eat those wings last night and that's not bad because like i like i always tell y'all i want to be between 80 through 140 between 80 through 140 those are great numbers you feel me those are great numbers i'm cool with them numbers so 102 is my starting off number I know it'll be lower by the time I get to lunch because I plan on today. What's today? Thursday. Uh, today I am going to. This is my plan for the day as far as what I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat my jumbo shrimp. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat basically the same lunch that I had yesterday: jumbo shrimp, spinach with our bacon bits, uh, liquid aminos, and cucumbers. I may or may not um, use the liquid aminos. I don't know yet. I may. But liquid aminos is good, you know, it gives your, um, you know, food a nice little spice and kick to it. But, you know what I'm saying, I've grown accustomed to eating spinach without anything on it other than bacon bits from time to time. But I plan on probably eating that again tonight. And then um, after that, um, I'll probably eat a chef's salad tonight because I already have had, you know, fixed uh, spinach. Because usually when I do my spinach, I... Um, 
usually make a, you know, I open up a can of spinach, you know, Popeye style. Um, I use a can opener. But anyway, open up a can of spinach and I eat half of it. Sometimes, like uh, a couple of weeks back, I was like putting the whole can in there if I had like a big plate. You know what I'm saying? But but normally, normally, you know, since I've been doing this, you know, for the past 79 days now, you know, I normally um, you do half a can, you know, half a can for lunch and then half a can for, and, you know, the rest of it for dinner. So that's how I do, you know, I basically split the spinach up and, you know, eat some during that portion and eat some later. So that's what I'm going to end up doing today as well. So. And then tomorrow I'll probably fix me uh, for dinner uh, pork chops, cheddar broccoli rice, and uh, cucumbers. I mean, I know y'all probably like, man, you pretty much eating the same thing, you know what I'm saying, every blue moon or whatever. But I mean, hey, I'm cool with it, you know what I'm saying, because it's been it's been helping and it's been doing what it's do. The only thing, you know what I'm saying, like, you know what I'm saying, I just gotta, well. You know, I had started, you know, getting into, you know, just a few of those little snacks, so to speak, you know, such as my queso chips. And then uh, from time to time, I eat some ice cream, but it's sugar-free ice cream. And uh, I haven't even ate any. I haven't even, I can't even remember the last time I ate some ice cream. I think that's been at least about three or four days now since the last time I ate some ice cream. You know, I try not to eat that every day because I've never been an ice cream person anyway. But it's pretty much like the only thing really sweet that I eat other than my graham crackers. When I eat the ice cream, I have it with my graham crackers. So that's pretty much the only thing, you know, as far as sweetness that I eat, you know. And then, of course, you know, my raisins that I put in my oatmeal. And um, uh, what else, uh, you know. And the only other thing, you know, be, you know, chips. You know what I'm saying? Every every other day or whatever. But, you know, next week, what I plan on doing next week, I'm not for certain. I might do a, I could probably do salad all next week, but I don't plan on doing anything as far as like challenges or anything like that go. Besides that 10 ingredient salad challenge the other day was crazy enough. Not that I have a problem making a 10 ingredient salad because my salad the other day was 12 ingredients, but eating it, under 10 minutes nah i can't do that i gotta save my food i gotta take my time with it and that salad was so good the other day man i just want to take my time with it but i had to eat it in under 10 minutes so you know i, I like to save my food you know what I'm saying now, unless i'm super hungry i just you know, i'm homer simpson style just but you know, this oatmeal cinnamon raisins Two dashes of salt. Shout out to Lady E. The salt does give it a nice little texture, but the cinnamon and the raisins is what you're really getting. The salt basically makes, keeps the oatmeal from being bland because oatmeal without anything in it, it's just crazy. The cinnamon gives it a nice spice, but it doesn't really give it any flavor. Like you taste the cinnamon, but you know, cinnamon doesn't have any real flavor real cinnamon doesn't you know i mean it had it, you can it tastes like cinnamon but cinnamon isn't sweet it's a spice and people fail to forget that they think cinnamon is sweet because you know they so used to like cinnamon rolls cinnamon toast crunch that type of stuff that's because they already had sugar adding into it and you taste the cinnamon but you but but cinnamon by itself is not sweet it's a spice you know what I'm saying? It's a strong spice and it's not sweet. It just adds that it adds the flavor of it. And but the flavor isn't sweet. The only way it's gonna be sweet is of course you add sugar to it. So with that being said. I'm out, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please stay safe. It's not over yet. I had this awesome conversation this morning. I was on uh, Miss, uh, Miss T. Brown's. Excuse me, I keep saying, I, I keep saying Brown, my bad. I was on Miss B. Moore Hester's uh, live this morning. Shout out to Miss uh, B. Moore Hester. 
she had a dope live. Shout outs to TC, the young lady who I was on there as well. We was talking about some real stuff. I put their link below so y'all can check them out. Hopefully she still has that live up on her um on her channel. I'm going to put that link below, y'all. So y'all definitely listen to that, absorb that, feel that. You know what I'm saying? We was talking about some real stuff earlier this morning. So here on YouTube. So y'all yeah, make sure y'all check that out. Meantime, between time, I got to find another streaming app. Because Camera Fly Live ain't doing it no more. I streamed yesterday. And YouTube, Camera Fly Live, whatever. Cut my stream off. So, yeah, I tried to get back on live. You know, do a live stream several times yesterday. It just wasn't happening. That's why we got to grow this thing to a thousand citizens and more, y'all. We got to get this thing popping. Meantime, between times, I'm done, y'all. I'll holler at y'all later on the next go around. I'm about to work on, um... This uh, episode for 111, Dope 1408 TV, work on the art for that. And I'm out, y'all. One love.